everywhere you go, no matter the context, no matter the situation, if you ask young people what's their top priority, education has always been first. That's why this initiative, the Global Education First Initiative, is such a powerful, timely one, and it's one that young people have embraced. And one of the reasons why I believe young people have embraced it is also because of this concept of global citizenship. Because young people see that as an important entry point into this discourse around education. Now, 57 million kids out of school is unacceptable for young people as well. A promise was made in 2000 to get every child in school. And 57 million kids out of school is 57 million promises broken. And that's unacceptable. That's why, through, and, and this initiative is providing an important platform for young people to not only hear the voices, but to be part of the debate in shaping the future and demanding concrete action. Now, through the Youth Advocacy Group for this initiative, we've been able to mobilize young people in countries, um, online, around these different issues, to take action, to, to work with their uh, uh, local authorities, and to say that the time for action is now, and the promises that were made have to be kept. We saw that on the 12th of July on Malala Day when over 600 young people came to the United Nations to stand up with Malala but also say that 57 million kids out of school is an emergency and it's time for war leaders to act and we young people are not going to falter until we see that that tide is turned back, that every one of those 57 million kids are back into school. The challenge going forward is we're going to continue to engage using the platform that Jeffy provides to engage uh, world leaders, to mobilize young people in country, and to not only this time speak up and air our voices, but to be part of prescribing the solutions for the future. And Jeffy is an important platform that enables that.